you ever imagine it's gonna get to this point? Uh, turbo, yes, just not this crazy. Yeah. so fast man yeah, yeah. it's so freaking fast what was the hardest thing for you to kind of like when you first got it like to get used to uh, pretty much just boosting honestly I wasn't used to that it felt uh -huh. to me like I wouldn't even want to pass 4,000 because that shit was scared the shit out of me yeah <laughs> it was, it was Alright everyone, welcome back to the Motor Miami. Today we have Alex. Uh, big shout out to Alex, big shout out to Anti uh, Motorsport for making some time for us and for allowing us to use their shop uh, <coughs> to have this uh, interview on this amazing build. Um, so thank you Alex. Thank you for having me man. What do you drive? I drive a 1994 Toyota Supra single turbo. 1994, okay. 1994. So before we get into this build, <coughs> like this whole entire car thing, where, where did it begin for you? It began back in Super shifts began back in like 2015, 2014 era. But the car shit from when I was little, I always liked cars. But, you know, I fell in love with Supras back in like 2014 when I first saw my first Supra. Mm -hmm. My buddy Mo's uh, red Supra, clean Supra. I saw it in person for the first time and I fell in love with it. And then eventually I ended up being cool with them, became homies with them. And then uh, that's, I eventually got motivated to pick up my own Supra like a couple years later. Okay, yeah. so you mentioned that you saw, where was it <coughs> that you saw that, that Supra at? Was it an event? It was back then when they had Formula Drift Tech Day. Gotcha. They had okay. little meets before Formula Drift back in the okay. day, and, and I first seen his Supra there. But I know him personally, I just know him through Instagram. Mm -hmm. and then right, so then you, you're like, okay, the Supra becomes the main goal, and like yeah. everybody else, you went and bought other cars, you set up for a lesson until you were able to afford this? Pretty much, so <laughs> I didn't have a car until I turned 21. So I saved up enough to, to make this my first car. So the opposite, you actually did, didn't set up for less and you up. saved money. I almost did for like a couple things because it was so hard to find this. But, you know, I test drove a couple cars, like 370s and shit like that. But once I test drove one of these, it was like... Game no, over. Yeah, it was, it was it. I needed one. But Where did you find it? Local. I found it locally to me in Downey. So probably like 30 minutes from me. Okay. And a little Asian guy owned it. And uh, I found it back in... November of 2015 and I purchased it in June of 2016 so I dealt with the guy for seven months because wow. he didn't want to drop his price <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so his price was 25k and you know that was a little over my budget so I offered him 20 grand and seven months later so every month I would offer him a different price so you pick it up what was the vision for it uh, pretty much what it is now. Um, I think it's a lot cleaner than what I envisioned, but pretty much, you know, single turbo was the goal. Mm -hmm. Do all that because it's an original non-turbo car. Oh, okay. So for me, it was as soon as I buy it, you know, enjoy it for a little bit and then pull the motor out, repaint the whole car and then do the big single turbo swap. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it white originally? Original white, yeah. Okay. Have, has it been resprayed? It has been resprayed, cool. but it's the OEM white still. Yeah. OEM white. So I just painted the car before <clears throat> when I pulled the original motor out, <clears throat> we had the whole car resprayed, engine bay and everything. And then we brought it here to do the, the motor and all. Cruising it, I feel like it's a little more mellow. Yeah. At least for me it is, but once you punch it, it'll move up. This tree's pretty rough and it's, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, this tree's more mellow. Dude, that's quick. <laughs> that's super fast. Just the power coming in. Definitely, uh, it's super clean. So, I mean, Thank we're you. definitely going to get into that. So now that you have it, I mean, is there anything major on the outside that you can think of that you want to do to it? 
On the outside, no, because I like the, the simple, clean OEM Plus look. I think it's perfect the way it is. If anything, maybe add a splitter, but I'm, I'm liking the way it looks right now. Um, other than that, I mean, the car to me is perfect right now. That's I'm awesome, man. It. I'm glad you actually were able to go get your dream car. <coughs> yeah. And now that it's, you know, it's here, um, you know, you're able to continue to build upon it. So let's get on it, man. Uh, a little bit about the front end. What do you got going on? So pretty much the front end is a just an OEM front bumper with like a basic OEM, like a, not an OEM lip, but like a TRD style lip, they call it. Okay. Um, upgraded to 98 headlights and turn signals. So they have the blacked out housing. And I was about rings. to ask you, okay, yeah. so what's the difference in that? Yeah. Black so house? my car came with the original, uh, the, not original, but they were the glass Euro style headlights, mm -hmm. which are pretty cool because they don't, you know, get all like yellowish. But the 98s to me look cleaner because the black and the chrome rings, it just stands out, especially with the white, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then the turn signals are just, they're a little different than the, the 94 ones that I had. They're, they're just all orange. So these look cleaner. How yeah. hard is it to find parts for these cars? It's not hard. It's just expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. Because okay. the dealer carries still a lot of stuff for these cars. Oh, okay. And not only that, but the Facebook market and stuff like that. They have a lot of parts, just really expensive. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I would imagine, I mean, we, we talked about it off camera, how the prices on this just skyrocketed. They skyrocketed. So, so when, I, when I bought mine, so in high school, when I was searching them up, you can find pretty much what I bought for like 10 grand or maybe even a little less. And a twin turbo, you could probably get for like 10, 15 grand back then, a six speed. And then... A couple years later, you know, the prices jumped up 20, 25K. Mm -hmm. And then right now they're like, you know, six figures and shit. So it's, it's crazy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, they have so much potential. And they're great yeah. looking cars. They're aging nicely. I mean, yeah. so you wouldn't think that this is a 90s car. Right. Which is the, the design it's of like it. Ahead it's ahead of its very time. Nice. Mm -hmm. Super. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then tell us about the suspension pieces. What do you got going on? I have Fortune Auto Air Cup uh, pistons front and rear. And then just pretty much TRD sway bars. And that's pretty much it for suspension. Uh, nothing mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. What is it? Do you just like want a street car, and that's you just, just a street car? Yeah, enjoy just it? enjoy it in the streets. I don't, I don't plan to track it or drag race. It's too pretty. I wouldn't, man. <laughs> uh, but I do enjoy it in the streets. I take it everywhere. It's not just at home in the garage and just gotcha. chilling. It's, it's, it gets driven. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. All the suspension pieces. Yeah. So just coilovers, which is the Fortune Auto air pistons, and then the sway, bar, the TRD sway bars. Yeah. Doesn't need much then. No, it's pretty simple. You know, handles good the way it is. Speaking of wheels, what kind of wheels do we have? These are uh, Volk T37 SLs in the pressed double black. Absolutely love the color. Um, I mean, that's crazy that, you know, you, you come across them. I actually now. bought these through uh, Mo, Mo Supra, same guy. No way. Yeah. Interesting. And it matches so nicely with the car. <coughs> just, I mean, white cars just in general. They, yeah, you flows. can do any color yeah. and it'll look good. Um, and what are the specs in those? They're uh, 18 by 9.5 plus 22 and then 18 by 10 and a half in the rear plus 22. So 22 offset all around. 10 and a half. Yeah, which wow. people typically don't run on Supras. They say it doesn't work or doesn't fit. They typically tend to run higher offsets, but you know, people say, how are you running this? And then I'm just like, I don't know, I'm running it, man. <laughs> it fits, you know. You're making it work? But I'm making it work. A little bit of rubbing? A little bit. Okay, a but slight, nothing major. Slight, no, nothing major, yeah. yeah There's a little more camber in the back and it should be but solid. But it's just perfect, man, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Wow. Yeah. The okay. front's good. The rear's where it has a little bit of rub, but once I camber a little more, it should be to go. Yeah, it should be great. Yeah. Okay. And the tire size, what, what kind of tire size are you running? I'm running a 265-35 Toyo R888R in the front and in a 295 30 in the rear. Toyo R888R also. 295? Oh my God. <coughs> yeah, I've had great. some previous setups with wider tires, but uh -huh. <coughs> I had CCWs with 315s, but oh my they goodness. sat a little more sunk in because of the higher offset. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I didn't like that, but these fit way better. So this is it. Yeah. You know, I <coughs> talk so much back on tees, but they just look so good on everything. They and, fit perfect, honestly. And this is, yeah, this yeah. is a great example as to why I guess most yeah. people go for the tees. They, they look great. They I look mean, great, yeah. Can't deny that. I used and to have the, the work wheels on it, work three piece. Okay. The S1s. That was my first setup when I bought the car too. And I plan to get that set back eventually in the future. So I plan to run the, the, the so work wheels Similar again. specs and stuff? Yeah. Gotcha. I, I love the way they look on these yeah. wheels. But, but I have plan to keep these also so I can swap off here and there, you know, have two sets of wheels. Money just <laughs> enter the chat, <laughs> <Yeah>. huh? <laughs> That's cool, man. And then tell us about the braking system because it's very clean. So these are just uh, the OEM twin turbo uh, brake calipers with the uh, StopTech rotors and pads. And wow. the color is actually the, the same color as uh, the valve covers and spark covers painted by Art also. 
And do we know the name of that? Because it's very nice. <clears throat> the name of the color, I believe it's called the uh, Green Tea Metallic. Oh. And I think that's off of the Honda CRV. No way. But yeah, but it's actually like the color is similar to Millennium Jade. So mm. it's very close. I I'll really like the color. Yeah. yeah, definitely in the engine bay, it pops <clears throat> up and then on the caliper, yeah. it's very subtle, but it's different. It's, it's clean. That it, yeah, I love it, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, no hate <clears throat> to those with the bright yellow and the red <laughs> ones. You know, I'm just saying I really like that. Yeah. And then the side skirts. <clears throat> These are Redox style side skirts that I bought from Shine Auto mm -hmm. with the carbon extension. Gotcha. Yeah. Very nice. And then when we <clears throat> make our way to the back, mm -hmm. as we can see, very nice fitment in the rear. Um, Tell us about the rear, what do we got going on? The rear is just a TRD spoiler with JDM rear spats. You know, kept it pretty simple, just little OEM plus look. Super and, and clean, we got a man. fat four inch straight pipe. Fat four <laughs> inch, I love the way he says that. <laughs> Speaking of that, tell us about the exhaust system. What do you got going on? So it's a four inch down pipe all the way, all the way back pretty much to a straight pipe. Just straight yeah, four. Straight, yeah. No cat, no resonator, nothing. You don't Straight. need that, right? You don't, don't need, need it. that shit out here. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to be lighter. <laughs> oh man, yeah. <clears throat> that fitment on the and the rear and the front is just it's superb, man. Yeah, it's flush. Uh, definitely. So, like we mentioned, there's nothing major that you can think of for the outside. You're, nothing you're content. Major. Oh, and then these two, these are the upgraded '98 uh, rear uh, taillights. Black house, the same black, thing. Yeah. All oh, these are like grayish, kind of. I think the '93 to '96 are like blacked out. Oh, okay. A little different, but these look nicer, I think. I know you're babying it yeah, for babying obvious it. reasons. I, I, I didn't want to floor right now because I was still a little white right here. So, I mean, I was a little slight. That's fast, dude. Uh, I don't understand why anybody needs to be that fast, but <laughs> that goes beyond me. Uh, hence, why they love the uh, the super brush, right? I mean, yeah. So I'm saying, like for me, 500 is like more than enough right now. Yeah. Super far away from topping this thing out. It, it's insane. Back in there, it's a lot of fucking big rigs we're Yeah. Low key, I'm glad there's big rigs so you don't have to go faster. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like, I'm glad that the street is not empty. <laughs> yeah, thank you for this experience, man. This is insane, man. I mean, they knocked it out of the park at Entice Motorsports. And All right, what do we have in here? Again, it's pretty simple in here also. The only thing I've really upgraded is the steering wheel, which I upgraded to a Sparkle steering wheel. Mm -hmm. And then I have these Recaros that I bought from an Instagram page called Used Racing Car Parts in Japan. Oh. So I had them pretty much imported through that guy. Mm. You know, and I, I seen these, I had Evo 9 Recaros prior to these and I seen these and I was like, I gotta get those. I hopped on those, sold my Evo 9s and then I got these. <laughs> I thought great. these like flowed so much better. And I like how they have the Recaro stitched like in big writing. You like the leather and yeah. everything? It matches with the, everything. And then the bolstering is a lot better than the Evo 9 seats I had too. It looks more aggressive. Yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, you know, the, the, the dashes and the Supras has to be one of the greatest ones. I mean, it's so, it's crazy it's so driver center yeah. that, you know, makes you feel like it's, it's just, you so yeah. I, I love it and then right there we have the air cup switches underneath the little radio oh, okay and Very then subtle. above that we have a vti gauge which tells me you know everything you need to know pretty much like your water temps oil pressure fuel pressure your boost gauge everything gotcha gotcha, gotcha. and the cage pretty the nice. cage is a auto power roll bar auto power yeah roll bar. you match it with the outside yes yeah. nice. color cool. matches everything it used to be gold mm -hmm. but i thought that the white would flow a lot better that looks nice, man. Oof. <coughs> very, very clean interior. I mean, any any future plans for it? For the interior? Uh, maybe just eventually, maybe re upholster the doors a little bit, make like, you know, something cool like Alcantara or something. <laughs> Later on in the future, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But maybe something crazy like that. For now, it's just yeah. as good. It's for working. now, it's, it's simple and clean. Ah, I'm so happy pretty. with it. It's so pretty, man. I mean, oh my God. <coughs> and do you have a short ship there? No. Okay, so yeah, it's just, just stock, whatever. Stock, yeah. Okay. Just beautiful car, man. Thank you. Well, it looks very comfortable and it looks like it's very performance. Yeah. So, uh, do you mind sharing the power plant? Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, yeah. let me show you real quick. All right, let's see. All right. 
T-37s for what? Let's see. Ay, ay, ay. There it is. Money actually did now. <laughs> it has been confirmed. Money actually just entered the chapter. Yeah. Rails. <laughs> There's some money in there. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. What, what are we looking at? There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot to start with, you know, but uh, I mean, I got to give a shout out to obviously Entice Motorsports. They pretty much did all the work in this shit from the fab work to the lines. Literally everything you see mm -hmm. in here was done by Entice Motorsports. Yeah. Um, so all that piping, the intercooler piping was done by them. Um, the intercooler was at the core. They made their own end tanks and pretty much did all that themselves. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they have their logo. The little logo in there. Awesome. You know, vibrant clamps all <coughs> around. So when you brought the car to them, <coughs> uh, was it still non-turbo? Uh, was it automatic or manual? It was manual, but it was non-turbo still. So okay. what I did was pretty much brought the car to the shop. Mm -hmm. We pulled the motor out and from there, literally towed it to paint from there. And then oh. I eventually I brought him the motor. We worked on the motor here and there. And then okay. once all that was ready to go, paint was done, brought the car back and, you know, started like setting everything up in the engine bay. Were you planning to go this crazy or, or in times motorsport was that no. nice? That, that one friend <laughs> that tells you, man, just do this. If you're going to do it right, do it right. The name you know? says it all. It entices you to do all this shit, man. No. Fucking, nah, I didn't plan to get this crazy with it. <laughs> I love but, it. Uh, Little by little, he just started throwing ideas at me, and we just ran with it, and you know, super worth it. I'll it was worth it because it came out clean. I never intended for the car to get this crazy. <laughs> I wanted a simple, you know, just a single turbo swap, and that was it. He but, enticed you but to, to go that we, good we way. Got a little crazy with it, and I think, you know, it waited a little longer than, than it should have taken, but I think the wait was worth it because it oh, should yes. came out stupid clean, good in my opinion. Good things yeah. take time. You don't want nothing <clears throat> rush. Um, okay, so let's start off with. The motor, uh, what has been done to it, and then from there we can continue. So the motor is still pretty much stock. Mm -hmm. Stock block, stock head. Um, the only thing we really did was replace, you know, gasket, seals, water pump, oil pump, everything OEM that we could change, we Refresh changed it. out, uh -huh. refreshed it. And then pretty much from there, we just got an upgraded intake manifold, upgraded exhaust manifolds, the ETS manifold with uh, dual t uh, tile wastegates, yeah. you know. Nothing crazy, just simple. Just try to clean it up as best as we can. Delete what we didn't need mm -hmm. or don't use, I should say. Definitely, okay. <coughs> and then um, obviously the turbo, let's talk about that setup. What do you have going on? So it's a comp 67 millimeter turbo with the ETS manifold. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. nice. Nothing crazy, a little, little small turbo. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> and then every single plumbing, it was done here at Done here at yeah. Wow. This would be your one-stop shop if you had anything done. And you mentioned the valve cover with the valve cover. Yeah, that was also painted by Art also. By Art? Art Castillo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then we have the uh, bug performance brake booster delete. Ooh. So typically people don't do deletes out here, but I, I wanted to run one. So mm -hmm. it looks cleaner in my opinion. And then even the lines. So the brake booster delete comes with, you know, their lines and shit. Oh, really? John at Entice decided to take it apart and do his own lines. All cut. So all that right there you see is all custom lines done by John here. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So all yeah. the lines are done here. Everything was done here. Man. The details, right? The details. Yeah. Everything you see, even from the little brackets in the fuel pressure regulator, done here. Oh, okay. Even from these in the back of the firewall. Yeah, the, the clamps that they did yeah. in different sizes and everything. That was custom made also. Wow. <coughs> That's crazy. Anything done to the intake? No, it's the stock intake. Everything you know, every, okay. it was Yeah, just like that. Okay. <coughs> kind and of wastegate and uh, blow off? So the wastegates are uh, f uh, 44 millimeter tile wastegates, mm -hmm. running two of them, and then the blow off valve is the tile blow off valve also. And we also color matched that also. To the With the valve. Yeah. I mean, I, I like <coughs> those touches. I, I really like those touches, how you're just very subtle. Yeah. And I mean, this color combo is, is great, man. Yeah. It flows good with the white. So nice. Feel? Feel, it's on 91 right now. 91? Yeah, it's 91. Enough for you, or is that something in the works that you maybe? Don't uh, ask John because he'll tell yeah. you. <laughs> uh, for me, it's enough. 91's enough because I, I wasn't making crazy. I didn't want to make crazy power, mm -hmm. you know, 85. Uh, not only that, but I'm burning fuel like crazy right now still. So I mm -hmm. couldn't imagine how, how easy I'd <laughs> kill 85. So right now I'm cool with the 91. You're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like the honesty, man. Yeah, I get you. Um, we also took out the, uh, the stock clutch fan and upgraded to the small electric fans. So these mm. things cool the boat are so fucking quick. Love it. Yeah. Just, uh, it's 
so many details. And then this right here is the custom catch can and coolant overflow tank in one. Done by Entice. So he made it, custom fitted everything right here. Ooh, I mean, it just fits so perfectly <coughs> yeah. for obvious reasons. And it's two in one. And you can just see the lines very well. <coughs> I mean, the craftsmanship here. Uh, the details are there. Yeah. Very cool, man. <coughs> Not only that, but we also did a AC delete. So the AC compressor was on that side, and mm -hmm. the alternator usually is right here. Mm -hmm. We bought a bracket that relocates the alternator to the other side to clean up the turbo side and have like an emptier like side right here. Focusing on <coughs> the on the turbo and also yeah. prevents any you know. So oh, it's just wow. easier to get to everything right here. It's much cleaner, and then everything that is, that's on that side now the alternator and everything. Interesting. So no AC no more, but it looks cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love it. <laughs> Man, I mean, everything about this car is super clean. I mean, I can't even think of anything else to ask. It's just, <laughs> I'm uh, definitely amazed of the craftsmanship here. Yeah, they did a good, a good job here. Amazing job. Yeah, amazing job. Uh, transmission, what do we got? So that's where it's a little sketchy. I'm still running a W58 transmission, which is considered a, I want to say a glass transmission in a way. Oh, that's, um, I don't think you want to. Okay, <laughs> this right here <laughs> and a glass transmission so, doesn't go. <laughs> so people say, you blow that trans at 500. You know, I was like, if I blow it, then I'll buy a, trans, a stronger trans. So what I plan to do is get the Granis T56 six speed in the future. But I was like, if this works for now, it'll save me some money and then I'll be able to save up for that later on. And, you know, I ran it and that's the, my biggest worry when we were on the dyno was my transmission. Right. But it held up and I've been fucking cruising it, boosting it, and that shit's been holding Isn't up. Is it good? Yeah. Love it. But we'll see how long that shit lasts until it fucking... Oh, well, yeah. I mean, well, that's me. what it is. But, but I mean, honestly... It is what it is. That's the Honestly, the when it comes to modifying <coughs> cars, something's yeah. going to break. Shit yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not course. worried. I'm not tripping. If it does happen, it is what it is. Gotcha. But... But it's been holding up, you know, and people trip out like, oh, are you running a 350? I'm like, I don't know, bro, just cruising it. <laughs> just I'll let you know when yeah. it doesn't run. But uh, the only thing I don't do is I don't, you know, do burnouts or, Hard you know, launches, yeah. The hard launches, like, that'll break it for sure. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's why it's a Just ease up into the boost and you're chilling. What kind of clutch are you <clears throat> It's a ATC, AT, ACT six puck clutch. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned that, uh, <clears throat> has it been tuned? It Dino? has been tuned by Dino Butler at Church Automotive. Okay. Yeah. And do you mind sharing numbers? It made 510 with 18 pounds of boost. So nothing crazy. You know, <laughs> just perfect for a street car. <laughs> 18 pounds of boost, <laughs> five something, nothing crazy. Okay. We have two definitions of nothing crazy, <laughs> so but okay. It's got room for more, but the trans is... The trans <laughs> that's what's holding me back. But not only that, I'm holding myself back because, like I said, it's a non-turbo car, so I'm trying to get used to the boost still. I'm trying to get used to this shit, so... I yeah, don't want to, you know, definitely get carried away with it right now. I get you. I get so you. So 500, I've been having fun with it. Okay. And then did you guys upgrade <coughs> the uh, differential or anything like that? Stock differential, stock everything. Axles, yeah. everything stock? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see when that goes too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Russian roulette with this car. Huh? I love it, man. <laughs> we'll see when that she goes. In. Hey, how long have you had this setup for? Uh, we've got it finished up like at the end of November. So okay. It's still kind of new to me. Thank you so much, man, for making some time for us. So, oh, yeah. I mean, amazing build is an understatement <laughs> when it comes to this. Uh, and again, thank you so much to Entice Motorsports for opening up the shop uh, and creating this masterful, right. wonderful, <laughs> uh, you know, motion, uh, art in motion. It's amazing, <laughs> dude. So uh, any shout outs, man? Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to John. I was hit Entice. You know, he did a lot of the work on this shit. Pretty much everything was done here in the shop, minus the paint. but. You know, shout out to him, shout out to Jay the welder, shout out to uh, Chris, shout out to Art Castillo for painting, you know, the valve cover brakes and all that. And then obviously shout out to Moses. He hopped out with a lot of the wiring in this car, mm -hmm. ran a wire wire harness and he fixed a lot of the issues we had with it. Um, shout out to David for the paint job and came out pretty clean. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably forgetting some people, but you know, thank you to everybody pretty much for whoever put hands in this car, whoever sold me parts pretty much, Mo, 
for so many parts and yeah that's pretty much it you know yeah i mean in a build like this there, there's so many people that you know will not you know at the moment you're not going to remember yeah. as soon as we turn off the camera we're like oh shoot there's i forgot a, there's to. a ton so of people but anybody who just helped out i mean yeah there's a ton of people who put hands in this car that helped out helped john along the way and you know grateful for that definitely man well i mean i can't wait to see this car just being driven yeah i honestly think you know obviously we always say cars are never done but that's true <laughs> this thing just needs to be driven yeah. and hopefully your transmission uh <laughs> your transmission uh kind of holds off for a little bit and you get to enjoy a little bit more but um for what it is man amazing car thank you and just thank you for making the time for us man definitely Shit, thank appreciate you for it. thank you for me, sharing man. your story man thank definitely you.